Hi, my name is David Crane and I'm with Universal Audio and I'm going to briefly show you the U81 DSP card and some of the new plugins we have for the AES show. If you're not familiar with the U81, uh, you can see from the screen it is a DSP card. All our plugins run on the card. Uh, the VST, audio units, DirectX, and RTAS compatible. Um, it comes in three different types, actually four different. I'm showing three right now. The Project Pack, the Studio Pack, and the Ultra Pack. Each one basically has the same card. You just get more plugins with each one. Each one costs a little more. Uh, Project Pack's at $399, Studio Pack $899, Ultra Pack $1199. These are street prices. We just introduced something new, uh, the Flexi Pack. The Flexi Pack basically is like a Project Pack. It comes with a with a with a uh, limited suite of plugins, but you get five hundred dollars to spend on our online store. So any plugins you want to get, you can get them on our online store. We make all the plugins. We sell them there online. Um, most of them cost about one forty nine. Some are seventy nine. Some are one ninety nine. But five hundred bucks should get you a uh, a pretty good slew of uh, very high quality plugins and a, and a pretty good variety of them. New for uh, the UAD one. This uh, excuse me. You know what we got to do? We got to keep people from walking in here. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to rope it off. No golden, no golden. So, yeah. So, hang on. New for the UAD-1 at the show is the Roland Dimension D plugin. And the Dimension D is a model of the Roland actual hardware Dimension D that was made in the late 70s. Um, we also have Tempo Sync, which is new for the UAD-1. I'll show a little bit of Tempo Sync later on. Um, we're also compatible with AMD and X2 uh, processors from uh, AMD and uh, the AMD X2 from Motorola and the Intel Xenon processor from Intel. Um, here's a shot of some of our compressor plugins, but rather than keep talking, let's get into the plugins. Here's the Roland Dimension D, and I'm going to use it on some guitar. Actually, no, I think I'm going to use it on vocal. It's a pretty subtle effect, but as you click in the buttons and higher and higher, you'll hear more and more of it. And your finger it's bypassed. What else? What else is there to do? And setting four. Now we've got another chorus down here. The Roland CE1. Feeling. Bypass this one. Let's listen to this one. I know you feel that you're the Oh, I sit there. You hear it's a different animal, totally. It's got a lot more detuning effects. I want you to also count. comes with vibrato mode. Oh, I count your little fingers. Oh, my heart happens. Oh, and speaking of uh, tempo it. sync, which I had talked about earlier, we'll show some rock drums being... Uh, tempo sync to death by our plug in the CE1. Mm -hmm. So let's start out with something mellow. Let's turn off some of these. So there's just like a kind of over the top drum compression. When we can do some cool stuff with the with the EQ in conjunction with the delays. But basically, if you take out the EQ, there's a chorus, there's a delay. That's how that sound was made, so I'll enable them again. EQ, chorus to thicken it up a bit, and then the delay to add all the repeats. You can take this even farther with this preset. There's also, if, you're, if your drummer is not playing quite fast enough, you can put on this preset. So here's your dry drums, and here's uh, your Neil Pert preset, you can call it. Some of our other flagship plugins include our mastering plugins. That's this limiter and this, comp this EQ right here. These are the Precision Series plugins. And I'll play a little bit of stuff. Hopefully I won't overdrive the inputs on your mixers, guys. I'll be careful. Let's listen to some rock. Yeah. 
to this with the limiter and without it. So you can hear we're really getting a lot of level up. Then there's our EQ. It comes with a lot of different presets. Let's try something called bottom boost. Bypass. Try a uh, meaty mid range. Really brings out the guitars. Off. And finally, big air boost. That really brightens up a bit. Um, I'm going to finish up here with the reverb plugin. This is our plate reverb. This is a fantastic plugin. Uh, I'm going to play some percussion for you. This plugin was modeling, basically models three different plate reverbs. If you don't know what a plate reverb is, it's an enormous sheet of metal that's suspended, that signals are run through, and that's how they get the reverb sound. There's also an EQ you can bring in and out, basically giving you up to 12 dB of boost or cut. In and out. And finally a pre-delay. So it's a good group of, uh, of, uh, of plugins to get started with, and that's pretty much it.